I'm about to check out a video about Jalen, Jaden, whatever. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. If you know or if you don't know who they are, I, I can't blame you. <laughs> they trash. They are nasty content creator that blew up some time ago. And since then has done some of the most filthy, most disgusting things possible. And what makes it even worse is they're woke. Ugh. Right? It's, uh, whenever you hear that word, just ooh. <laughs> They're super woke. They try to call people out for woke reasons. And then you find out behind the scenes, they're the ones that's actually doing all the nastiness. Let's check out this new video from Sensitive Society. I think I gave him some criticism. He didn't know nothing about BDSM. That like fam, he made one of the worst BDSM videos I've ever seen in my life. It was bad. It, it was so lacking knowledge. Like, it was almost as if he, he didn't know anything about it, which is probably the case. But let's check this out, man. I'm unbiased. I'm not going to hold one bad video against you forever. No. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> let's check this out, man. Hit the like button. And also, if you want to see it uninterrupted by me, go and check out Sensitive Society. Man, he has some good, decent videos, man. He got some, some good stuff. Just because I disagree with one don't mean that he, he don't got some good stuff. He got some, some stuff that's funny. All right, let's check him out, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have it, man. All right, let's go. The YouTuber known as Jalen is one of the most insane and unhinged YouTubers I've ever seen, period. And on top of that, I've actually interacted with them years ago. I'm not the only person who feels like this. Countless YouTubers have had their runs in with Jaden, including Achito, Turkey Tom, Optimus, myself, and many other channels. If I were... Only person out of all the people that I watch frequently was probably Optimus. It's probably Optimus, man. In fact, I'm going to start reacting to his videos too. I don't think he minds. I don't know him. Never talked to him, but I don't think he minds. For the name every single YouTuber Jalen has beef with, this video will be 45 plus minutes long. And I want to make this very clear. This person has been given an infinite amount of second chances by a lot of people. Jalen has showed us I'm over not... and over and over again that she will never change. This is someone who's addicted to the internet. It has been for most of their life. The amounts of time she's been banned from Twitter and just a few hours later comes back with a brand new account this easily over 15 times. I haven't mentioned the fact that she's 21. I bet you they've reported like a thousand different accounts too. That's the crazy part. They've probably reported a billion accounts. They definitely false flag people on the regular basis. Not even sorry about it. One years old and she turns 22 Not in December. It really doesn't get any more pathetic than this. And in case you guys are lucky enough to have never heard of this YouTuber before, this person makes commentary videos. She makes videos about Dream, Minecraft, and other stuff that no one cares about. Clearly, I mean, yeah, it's whatever is trending, right? Like they're one of those topic commentary channels, which it's different. It's different from just doing a commentary channel or just doing what I do, which is whatever you feel like. As long as it falls under social commentary, but I am still a commentary channel by default. Even reaction, you could put me on the reaction channel as well, right? Um, but their type of channel is the like little small clips. They'll do a two minute clip. This is a quick update of so and so just passed away, and then they'll just milk that like and do like a thousand videos about that one person passing away, and then have the nerve to call out another YouTuber for doing videos about somebody passing away. This this is what they do. It was just like constant hypocrisy. I mean, the views are showing. Constant. No one cares what she has to say. No one cares about her opinion. Despite having over 300,000 subscribers, she can barely... That's, that sounds like some ego-ish sensitive society. Fam, like, they, they killing my numbers. I can say that much. Like, but then again, you look at their numbers of how many subscribers they have. It, it's bad, right? It's a bad number. But I'm never the one that's going to judge someone for that. I don't really care. If you get in five views, guess what? Five people decided to click on your video. So are you doing all right, man? <laughs> maybe you can get more. But maybe you got to just do better videos. But what about those people that actually want to check out on what you do? You think they care about how many views you got? No, they care about are you going to entertain them or not? So I see that definitely. I don't really try to shame people based off of, yo, look at your views. No one cares. No one. 10,000 people. Cause the lowest view count on one of those videos was 10,000 people. And that's no one. Come on, man. Come on, we can't do that. Barely cracked 4,000 views. Her channel is dead. No one watches her content anymore. Jalen has submitted to this an infinite amount of times. This is her only source of income. It's either this or nothing. If I could describe Jalen in one word, it would be...
I give him more criticism than that, fam, or beyond that, because that's that's like not really a big deal. I don't care. So what if this is their job? Uh, do videos then, right? Now it's like that if this is their job and their only way of income, then work harder at it. That's all I'm saying. I don't care if that's the case. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna like try to judge someone based off of that. I think that he could maybe because this is the beginning of the video, he could go deeper. Maybe there's something else that's like deserves more criticism than that. I wouldn't really mind like uh some more criticism than that. This is just like that's less minor stuff. Who cares? When you talk about how much views she gets and the fact that this is the job. I, I don't care. Lucian, this is someone who's terminally online. She says it herself. I never existed in the world before the internet. This is the world that I've always known. I don't know what it was like back then. To me, there's nothing outside of the internet that's worth it for me. This is coming from someone who can drive. This is coming from someone who can vote. This is coming from- Yeah, that was a little- I understood what they were saying in the beginning, but then it became a little excessive towards the end. Like, nah, nah you, should, you should probably get off the internet a little bit. Go, see, I make it my point to go and visit family weekly. I'm going to go hang out with my brothers. I'm going to go hang out with my mama, even though she be tired. <laughs> so I hang out with her for a little while. I mostly call her. I text or call her like every day, if not every other day. Right? Got to make sure I talk to mama. Got to make sure, man. <laughs> make sure. It's bad for that. I walked in there. Yesterday, my uncle was like, look, look, your baby's here. My mom got it. was like, ah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, Baba, get some rest, Baba. You deserve some rest. Get some rest. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, bro. From someone who can't buy a gun. But why am I talking about Jaylen for the 25th time? Well, recently she had another mental breakdown on Twitter. And for some reason, it's way, way, way more unhinged than any other times we've seen. This is further proof that she's a racist, creepy YouTuber who shouldn't have a platform at all. AD30 says, Jalen unblocked me to DM me this and then reblocked me. And it's just like, I don't know if he's going to show the clips probably if not maybe i'll search for it just so you can have more of an understanding they call out people for being racist and transphobic and all this other stuff but then audio got released and as well as screenshots of uh tweets of them saying the n-word and blankly calling a black person the n-word like blankly saying what the f is wrong with you you n-word and <laughs> just mel gibson that shit just straight ah just you hit her with the Kramer. They, they just hit with the Kramer. Just went out there. Just you, you were in work. Kramer was hilarious when he said that. I thought that was funny to me. <laughs> but I'm a weirdo. Give of a, a jalapeno of sombrero. So, you know, some braces on their toes. I'm a Mexican despite 8030 not being Hispanic. This is a thing that I want to say. If you want to be racist and you're going to be racist, do it the right way. Know where the person's coming from. That's the advice I'm giving you guys. If you're going to be racist, make sure you do it the right way because then you look like a fucking moron. What does it? I would say if you're going to tell a joke based on race, make it funny. That would be my advice. Comedian advice. What does this even mean? No idea. Maybe you were Mexican. She was trying to be racist, but you're Indian, right? Yeah. And these next messages come from Izzy. This person's <laughs> oh, black. Funny. Just so you know, keep that in mind as you read this following text. I wanted to say, fuck you, middle finger emoji. I don't regret calling you the N word. In fact, I'll do it again. <laughs> if I could, I would love to play you guys a compilation of Jalen saying the N word. But you can look that up yourself. Just search Jalen N word. Then Jalen says, kill yourself. Uh, Drop the fucking act for one second. Be that, an authentic though. person for once. You can ruin my life. That's the least you can do. I'm literally having a panic attack. I haven't slept in days because you people don't leave me alone. I'm. This is what they do. They throw rocks, hide their hands. They throw rocks. No, leave me alone. Y'all bullying me, you N-word. And it's like, man, I don't, I'm not someone that's going to be fragile and break over that. I actually laugh. I, I find stuff like that funny. I have a really dark sense of humor. I blame Mad TV as well as comedy from the 90s and Andy Kaufman and Tom Green. Yep. Yep, it's day for. They did this. Maybe even some Pee Wee Herman. Throw a little bit of that. And some John Waters. The list goes on. Shout outs to John Waters. He don't get enough credit. But yeah, fam, the list goes on. I got a dark sense of humor. I find certain things funny. <laughs> so I would laugh at that. But my only thing is don't act like you're triggered and bothered when someone roasts you back or calls you out, right? Bare minimum, allow fair trade. 
That is it. Yeah, other than that, you ain't going to hear a complaint from me. Allow fair trade. Let's both roast each other. Cool. You can call me whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to be fragile. My, my skin is thick as hell. But then when I roast you back, don't cry and try to get me canceled, Jalen. Right? And other people that act like that. Dealing with shit, trying to do shit, and I can't get this constant harassment yeah, on my mind 24 6. 24 6. Okay. EC says, Jalen, what harassment have you done? What harassment have they tried to cancel Joe Rogan because he said the N word? I ain't rocking with that. He could get away with it because that's my nigga. <laughs> Kramer, too. Kramer, too, nigga. Kramer get away with it. He got the N-word pass because Kramer's my nigga. All right, how about that? He, who else? Mel Gibson get away with it too. <laughs> he made lethal weapon. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. What was the other one? Um, Mad Max. Come, come on. Braveheart. He get a pass too. Who else? I'm giving out N-word passes. What's up? <laughs> they gonna clip it. At least put my name in the clip, right? Like just, just tell BXB, put my name in the clip, right? Or tag me. Right, you could you could clip that shit, but <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you guys clip me and put me on your social media. Just tell people where you got from. That's all I have. I done. Jesus fucking Christ, you're so disingenuous and bad faith. And it just keeps going. Do you want to hear how you all won? Congrats. Yeah, love you did. TV. I'm ruined. I have nothing left. Nothing in life. No one. Nothing. I'm miserable. You win. You broke me. Congrats. You got everything you ever wanted. I'm guessing this was directed towards anyone who's ever criticized, called out Jalen before. And tell me, does this look and sound like a 22 year old who's mentally stable? No, log this person away forever. Take them away. Easy response with Jalen. Uh, listen, block me and take a break off Twitter and take your girlfriend on the date. Yeah. This is getting really that's sad crazy. reading. And of course, yo, when someone that's like going back and forth with you just says, yo, just block me, which I've told people before, yo, just block me. It's cool. <laughs> it's fine. Block me, let's just, this is okay. I can tell that you're about to spur it out. Just, just block me. I told Tips to that. I said, yo, Tips, just go ahead and block me for the eighth time. It's okay. You don't even need to do this thing where you go and tag your friends to come and save you. And then they jump in on your battles. But then when everyone starts exposing you, they fail to admit that they were wrong, even though they tried to save you and defend you like you was their girlfriend. But now they're still standing on it, even though they had never had any actual issue with me. My bad. I got a little person. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. I can tell why people don't like me. Because I don't care. <laughs> This is how you respond to something like that. Fuck you. I lost everything because of you. Months and months depressed. <laughs> Do you know what that feels good? like? So much lost time, wasting money, parent. How do they lose everything when they, they, they still getting thousands of views? What are you talking about? No, yeah. I try and I try and you. People... And there's more than just you two. You, you don't have like people in your life that you love. Do you like spending time with? And your fans are still watching. You still got fans. Okay. Always get in the way of me being happy. You never let me break free ever. Can someone tell Jalen that she can just block people? Jalen always plays the victim. She wasn't being harassed. She's the one harassing other people. So let me put this on the screen. He says, okay, a lot of people do like you. That's a fact. And like I always say, I dance with whoever brought me to the party. That's why I don't give a fuck. That's the key for anyone who just wants some small advice. The key. To be like BX Beast Boy and not giving a fuck is not worrying about the people that don't fuck with you or don't like you. You worry about the people that do like you, right? That's why I always say that. I dance, and this is probably like the 20th time I said it in this one stream alone. That's like one of my favorite quotes. I forgot which comedian that was. Was it Wildcat? I'm going to look it up. He said it when I think, uh, I think the Senior Hall show was closing down or something. like. I got to look at it. It was old school comedy from like the 90s and 80s. But instead of going to the award show, he came to the show that put him on when he first became a comedian and they gave him his first shot on TV. And the host was like, yo, why'd you choose to be here instead of the award show? And he was like, easy, because I dance with who brought me to the party. That's it. I never forget that. I dance with who brought me to the party. Fuck everyone that don't like me. I rock with the people who do. Oh yeah, I can see why they don't like me because they fake as fuck. But over here, we dance. Hey, uh, get the shoulders. Get the, ah. Hold on, let me play a nasty song one time. I'm in a good mood, man. 
I'm in a good mood. I'm with the Fang Gang. Hit the like button, man. I hope you guys are having a good time. Play that nasty song just because I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name. You I got to get the timing of that. I, I got to me- like remember it and then count the seconds. So when I come back, y'all don't catch me off guard like that. I was, I, w- I was getting crazy. My bad. That song does it to me every time and does it to me every time. People, Jalen is the bully. Jalen is the racist. Jalen is the blank fellbake. This person just loves to play the victim bullied. when they're not. This person wants Christians dead. Unless this person I'm doing wants bullying. Jews dead. This person wants black people dead. Jalen is legitimately evil. I like Hitler. He's pretty cool. He's a cool guy. Fucking you. Hitler did nothing wrong. I killed one. Just got about um, four million more to go. What was it like? This is what's crazy with society, though. Right. Uh, that's funny. With sense of society. This is just a criticism. You had a problem with showing the N word and saying the N word or whatever. But you, you let this go, though. You. You let this run. Come on, man. I feel like Sam L. Jackson, when Leonardo DiCaprio told him, I'm afraid to say the N word. I don't know. Why not? Just say it, man. What do you <laughs> just say? That's one of my favorite clips. You know, Sam L. was like, what? Why not? What are you talking about? Dude, just say it. Why are you struggling? It's just the word. Say it. Say it now. Go ahead. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But if you treat it as such, that does look crazy to me. I'm like, you, you land this play, but the N-word is just like super sensitive. And I'm a black person saying that like, hey, dude, it, it's fine. You could have played the clip. You could have played the clip and bleeped it out. Like 14 million. I don't know. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. I'm not telling him what to do with his content either. I'm just like, I just... I always see that, not just with this video, but just within society and within media. And I'm like, why do y'all treat that like with kid gloves? But then all the other stuff is like, F it. That's just weird to me. Fucking Jew. And I hate Jew. Equal I treatment. You should die. This is, that's, that's disgusting. Hey, that was not me. That was the person in the video, not the person doing the video, but Jalen or Jaden. This video is for educational purposes. It's probably not going to get monetized. So I'm probably going to play my ad at the end of this Uber fam. Educational purposes. Educational purposes. I might even bleep this out, actually, in post. That sounds like what I might do. Hit the like button if you're on YouTube. No one's forcing her into the community. No one wants her in the community. No, no one likes community. her. And look at this conversation on Discord between Jalen and Izzy. Dumb N word. Hard R, by the way. And they tag Izzy Tan, calling them the N word. And then they say this F you, Izzy Tan. KYS. Does this sound like the victim to you guys? This to me sounds like the bully. Mm-hmm. She's also said this on her official YouTube account. At least I'm not a monkey. It's not over yet. This is another com- <laughs> Yeah, That was funny. Um, I don't think adults could be bullied. You could be messed with. I don't think you could be bullied. You should have learned how to deal with bullies in elementary school. At least bare minimum high school. Conversation that I got sent. Just here in my account. Get fucked. I'm tired of you leeches. Try to ruin my life. Three years. The harassment never ends from you people. You people? What do you this mean by my that? Aylin, what do you mean by you people? Countless days. I don't even care about the stuff they're saying. Is the throwing rocks and hiding your hands. If we're going to be edgy and just go at it, let's be edgy and go at it. Yeah, no whole bar. Hardcore champion 24-7. Old school. Yeah, hardcore Holly. What you talking about? What you talking about? 24-7 champion. I miss the old school WWE. Man, that shit was something special. Anyway, I digress. I digress. My little brother tried to challenge me to a debate. Tell me something the new school is better than the old school. You don't get out of here with that mess. But yeah, man, I don't like people that throw the rocks and like hide their hands and act like like baby back bitches if you start roasting them back. Look at this. Oh, no. You leeches. You're trying to ruin my life. But then you're saying stuff to them that's horrible or whatever. Or people that might be offended. Who cares? If we're going to have the free fall, let's have the free fall, <laughs> right? Let's, let's not do it on YouTube, though, please. This is not on YouTube, on Rumble. I want to start having debates on Rumble. Like, let's, let's bring that to Rumble. 
bring it to Rumble. He's depressed. One and two and not myself to because my of goal. this. He just ruined my entire day. I hope you get scammed again. And 10 minutes after going on this whole rant, you leeches, you ruined my life, you this, this, and that. They say, sorry, you got a bit heated. LOL, I won't strike you. It's just a threat because I get too emotional. I apologize for the parts as I believe I went overboard. I prefer to never interact really? with you again. Goodbye. You may think, well, that's you know, kind of crazy 360 spin on it. But thankfully it ended, right? No. Just 10 minutes later, Jalen DMs Aiden again and uh, says this. Ruin my life even more. It's all you people have ever done. Had a Joker moment. And then I found this tweet what? from this YouTuber. Jalen just commented on my most recent video called Jalen's huge Twitter meltdown. J yeah, Jalen, I, I think he's commented on my videos a few times. Not even on my main channel, on my second channel. Back when it had like 500 subscribers. <laughs> And I think I just did a video saying like, yeah, they tripping. How dare you? I was like, oh, okay. All right, bro. All right, I feel you. I feel, but this was before. This is early. This is before. This is before they became Jalen. See, they, look, their old name back when they was, they was different, right? This is when it was Jaden. That's why sometimes I slip up because I remember them from years ago being Jaden. Now they're Jalen. I'm a respect. I, a rules of rules on YouTube. I BXB boy respect whatever decision. I gotta be careful. It's crazy. I gotta be careful. Decision that Jalen has made as they have transitioned into an adult. This video is for educational purposes. Also, you should follow me on Rumble. Fo follow me on Rumble and then ask me whatever you like on Rumble. But as for YouTube, we have to respect the decision that Jalen has made as they have transitioned in adulthood. How I do? How I do, guys? How I do? Y'all think I messed it up? I think I'm about to get 86. How did I do? How did I, did I do all right? Fam, I'm scared as hell. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared as hell, son. Uh, Come on, son. Ellen says, George Floyd was a great man. The world will never be the same without his breath. So, you know, do with that as you will, <laughs> which has nothing to do with the video. I don't know if she's going out of her way to select black YouTubers so she can say racist stuff about them. But the Issy situation is not over yet. Issy says, she just started DMing me again. Oh, come on. For someone that's sensitive society, you type, you type sensitive, bro. <laughs> My criticism of Jalen is let's do fair treatment. I don't care what they say. That, that, that doesn't bother me. That's funny. <laughs> that was funny. And she started oh, sexually man. harassing me. I don't like I'm this. Weird. And then Jalen says, but besides that, Jesus will be disappointed in you, Izzy. So let's drop this and get along. Let's make out and have kids. Start a new life together. Be free. Be one with God. So we got Jalen 445 in the building. Izzy says, I'd rather he be racist to me instead of this. I'm scared. I don't like, I don't like those jokes. I'm I'm not into those kind of jokes, right? And I'm always on the, the edgy human side, like, yikes. I just know that, like, in mainstream media, especially when you have a voice and subscribe, fam, to throw the... That was a reference to EDP, guys, in case you didn't know. EDP is a YouTube. I did a documentary video essay on him. Check that out with him. Just looking... Uh, what would I call that section? I don't think it's called video essays. It might be videos or something. Whatever. What breakdowns? There you go. Look at my breakdowns playlist. But EDP, he was texting the little girl, so he thought, told her, "Hey, I'm gonna come over to your house, get some cupcakes." Yeah, and then he went over there. But then there was a YouTuber there that planned this whole thing. There was like a sting operation that had nothing to do with police. So EDP got away scot free. It was a whole nasty, nasty incident. I don't like talking about it that much because I got a strike for talking about it the first time. So I had to edit the video and make it from an hour and 30 minutes. I guess I was going crazy to about like 17. <laughs> I had to be snapping. I had to be snapping. So I don't like to talk about it too much, but you can go check that out. And if you want to see the, the unedited version, check it out on Rumble. 
And I think I have it on my Patreon as well. And then I found this phone call she had with once again, Izzy. In this phone call, Jalen sounds... Tr- yeah, I don't like people making the comparisons like all willy nilly. That's, that's foul. Drunk out of her mind. She doesn't sound well. She sounds fucking crazy. You're saying it's only because of me, but the only thing you go after me for is being black. Like, are you just that retarded? That's that you hilarious. Just- uh, yeah, you got anything else? Hilarious. So when are you going to kill yourself? Because at this point, I'm pretty sure you were going to send me a suicide note in my DMs. No, that, that was not me. That was literally an AI dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that the only... Real, like, man. Say is, Move around. Look at the world. Fucking AI parody it's all, better than it's all a simulation, than man. Years. It's all a simulation. You don't, you don't understand. You're really... The opinions of Jalen do not represent the opinions of BX Beast Boy or the Fang Gang. YouTube don't 86 my ish. Educational purposes. I need to get like a little banner that just flash on the damn screen whenever I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> if my channel's at risk, I'm probably gonna chop this up and edit. I'm really pulling an etiquette right now. I live. To, is this gonna be the moment? When I make my plans and shit, like. I want to set it up a certain way, so like, you know what I'm saying? You really just want to play me, huh? Is that it? You're, like, I, I you're want gonna... your name at the top of the note. I want to. I want to. Oh leave it no, that's no, 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 no. Hell no! Nasty song twice. It's two time champion right now. Two time champion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name. You- it's filthy out here in these streets, huh? It is just straight, just straight filthy. Oh, that that was hard. <laughs> that was it. I'm a comedy guy. That whoo, nasty. If you don't know about the etiquette situation, that was a streamer who had certain beliefs about the world. He believed that the world... You ever, you ever watch Westworld? Remember last season? Because I'm, I'm not sure how much I can say on YouTube. Whole lot of video games type of stuff. He thought it was... Yeah. Um, and then deleted himself from the video game. Right? Uh, I forgot how many years ago that was. It was, it was some time ago. It was some time ago. So they're referencing that in actually trying to say that this is what Jalen is planning, but then Jalen is saying that I'm going to blame you. I want everyone to know it's your fault so you can receive the backlash for it. In the Etika, uh, I hope I'm saying the name, pronouncing it right, Etika situation, Keemstar was receiving a lot of the blame for that, if I'm not mistaken. Because Keemstar was going at him real hard. He was milking him as content. Um, so a lot of people blame Keemstar and that like became a, a whole thing. I didn't blame Keemstar. Not at all. Evidence. Racism doesn't exist, man. What's what's with you people in race, dude? Yeah. Like chill yeah, out, man. Also- <laughs> okay. Wow. So, like I may be part of the forty one percent, but you're like what? Part of the thirteen? Where's your dad? Yeah, I'm I'm part of the 13. Oh Yeah, the thirteen. Did you know what did- Remember when Hunter Avalon asked me where my dad was? Damn, I'm starting to believe what Ransom Monkey told me more and more, man. <laughs> Even though I'm still going to laugh. Despite being a small percent of the population, most of the crimes are committed. To wrap all of this up, Janet has always been like this. She's been acting like this for over three years, and she hasn't learned her lesson yet. This isn't someone who can handle the internet. No one should feel bad for this disgusting racist YouTuber. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Yeah, yeah it was all right. It was all right. If you want to check out Sensitive Society, go and check out their channel so you can watch the video uninterrupted by me, man. Um, but me personally, I feel like they was right. Maybe I'll give them a good 95%. <laughs> There's just certain things I was just like, ah, that's a little petty. Especially when you got more extreme stuff that you could like regularly, you know, talk about. That's a little, a little petty, right? Whatever. But that's minor. That's minor. I'm not saying they horrible or anything, right? That's just a, str- a small critique. He probably got a thousand criticisms for me. I got a thousand, right? You know what I mean? But it is what it is. I'm gonna tell me what you think down in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Jay Lynn with their nasty selves. My only criticism for them is I don't like when you throw rocks and hide your hands. If you want to be edgelord 
right? Don't be a different character when you're on YouTube. Like, what? I would never do that. That's pretty much what they were doing in the beginning. Then they got exposed. But yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. That's what happens when you're fake. That Jane is going to follow you. And now you don't know what you want to be. You want to be who you were before your channel blew up or you want to be this new I'm woke person. Pick one. Just pick one.